In the last dozen years since the study, I can honestly say that there's hardly a week that goes by that I, it doesn't at least fleetingly enter my mind to think back on it. And I kind of use it as a yardstick or a reality measure about what's really important. N knowing that there is so much more out there and that what we see here is such a tiny part of what is real. I get really frustrated with some of the scientists that I work with, that they seem so narrow-minded in their insistence on proofs. Because, of course, there's no way to prove that where I went was deep space, that I encountered, you know, other entities, other life forms that exist in this universe. There's no way to prove that. But it's true. It's real. It wasn't a dream. It wasn't something that my brain chemistry made up. It takes you to another place. And when you see life from that perspective, that we're just a tiny speck in the cosmos, um, sometimes it's kind of depressing and sometimes it's very liberating because you know that there is so much more out there that all of these little mundane everyday concerns um, that in the end it, it really doesn't matter it doesn't matter